All right. Uh, welcome in. We're doing a little little different variation of a Future Sox podcast today. We're doing a video with Will King Cannon. Will, uh, hanging out. How you doing, man? Thanks for doing this. Thanks for having me, Clint. I'm doing well. How are you? Doing all right. Yeah, it's been, uh, obviously, it's been a weird, you know, year, <laughs> the entire year. But, um, I mean, for everyone involved, not just, not just athletics, but obviously with everyone. But for you, um, no season. You, you did uh, get a little bit of training in recently. You're down, uh, down south, huh? Yeah, I was down in Florida um, at my uncle's house, staying there. I'm um, actually working out with a former White Sox guy, uh, Michael McCormick. He actually works at a college near there. He's a pitching coach there. Um, so, yeah, it was nice to get down, getting the nice weather, obviously, throwing outside. And right. um, it was some good work, and I felt like I uh, really took advantage of the opportunity. How long were you down there? Uh, almost a month, like three and a half weeks. Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, you're you're back up here now. Um, we haven't had a, a terrible winter. I mean, it's been yeah, it's it's been mild. It's not for bad. our standards. It's been uh, it's been pretty decent, but obviously much better down there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, throwing in seventy five every day compared to you know throwing inside or throwing in fifty. You know, it's it's a big disparity there. What uh, is there anything you worked on in particular, or was it just getting working? Period. Um. Yeah, I was trying to work on developing a harder slider to go along my breaking ball, my curveball, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I've been trying to work on developing a harder slider to go with my curveball that they grade out. I thought it was a slider the whole time, but they say it's more of a curveball shape. So it's mostly 83, 84, 85. But I was really trying to focus on having a slider in the upper 80s. And uh, it's still a work in progress, but I, I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with it every day. And you had to go through the whole Rule 5 experience. What was that like for you? Um, I mean, I've realized, in, I've realized in this game, man, that, you know, you got to earn everything you get. So obviously, uh, no season last year. Um, so it's really hard for another team to take a chance on me. Um, the White Sox not protecting me. I mean, we got a very good roster. We got a lot of great players. Um, I just got to show that I deserve to be there and p pitch like it, obviously. So, um, obviously it wasn't a great experience, but. I'm uh, ready to go and ready to prove them, to prove them wrong. So, have you? Uh, have you? We kind of talked about this off uh, before we first started. Have you heard anything uh, as to what what's going on here? No, I should. We should know uh, report dates and all that in the next couple of days. Obviously, we've uh, seen with the pushback on the double A side and, and trickle down. Um, so we'll we'll see uh, what report date is. It really depends if you're in triple A camp and big league camp. Uh, if you're going to be reporting early. So hopefully uh, I know within the next couple of days, whatever it is, and then get ready to go. So we didn't, we didn't, uh, when was the last time we talked? Was it last? It was during, it was during the summer. During the um, summer it was. It might've been, it might've been like July. July, August. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we haven't, we haven't really talked since uh, some of the White Sox stuff happened. I mean, I mean, first of all, getting to the playoffs, how, how was that watching that? It was exciting. I mean, we got a good young core, obviously. A lot of a lot of my friends on the team, so I'm obviously rooting for them and excited for them. Um, obviously, like obviously, we got bigger goals. We want to win the World Series, and we have the talent to do that right now. So it was disappointing for us, obviously, losing in the first round. But um, we're not there yet, but we'll, we will be very soon. What do you uh, What do you know about Tony Larusa? I don't know much. I mean, obviously, his uh, resume speaks for itself. Hall of Famer, World Series champ multiple times. Um, he's probably got more baseball knowledge that he forgot that I know. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward to meeting him and uh, getting to work. So what have you been doing? I mean, to, to pass the time, we kind of, I mean, in the summer it was different because you get outside and stuff, but now yeah. you're yep. it's not, as, not as great. Well, well, now that sports are back, at least you could watch something on TV. Right. Um, just working out, you know, training, um, staying in shape. Besides that, though, nothing nothing really crazy. Just been watching, like you said, Big Ten basketball. We were talking about it earlier. Watching the Bulls, big win last night. So it's fun, man. Um, we're, we're, you know, we're gearing up for the Bears to hopefully not get beat down on Sunday. But you, the way it looks, it's not looking good. So we'll uh, see. No, they get, they get Michael Thomas back, too, apparently. So, I mean – we just got to make Drew Brees throw the ball downfield, don't you think? Uh, he's pretty old. If Jalen Johnson doesn't play, man, it's going to be – it's not going to be fun. Yeah, it might be, it might be rough. We need – and Roquan's out, and Darnell Mooney might not play. So, it's just not <laughs> That's not good. Well. It's no, not it's a not good, good situation. Yeah, we were talking a little Big Ten hoops. Uh, you're an Illini fan. I'm a Purdue fan. And uh, they played 
Saturday. Um, yep. You guys coming in the top, or coming in the season? You what? Top five? Top ten team? We, at one point, I think there are four. Okay. Also. Yeah. And um, what uh, what do you what are your thoughts thus far about the Illini? Um, I mean, I'm not disappointed with the way they played. They played well. They've also lost the game at Mizzou that they easily could have won. They didn't play good at all. Baylor, the Baylor game, Baylor is kind of a different animal. Yeah. That team is probably a top two team to win it at all. And uh, I'm trying to think of the other loss. The Mizzou game, the Mizzou game was upsetting. They should have won that game. Mizzou is solid, but they got beat to every loose ball, and it was frustrating to watch. But, I mean, I would assume them and Kofi Cochran are a good deal, duo in college basketball, so it's definitely exciting for them to be good. It's uh, not exciting for me. Um well, hey, I mean, you guys have <laughs> always owned, owned Purdue over the last couple of years. Yeah. Huh? I said I always owned, owned Purdue over the yeah, last couple not, of years, which is uh, not, great. not something you guys are used to. So, no, but You guys uh, hired Brett Bielema, too. What did you say? You guys hired uh, Brett Bielema on the football side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The football, <laughs> the football about that? Huh? The football program is a lost cause, yeah. but they, they definitely need to make a change. I mean, they were kind of in a stalemate, so. Hopefully, could bring a spark to him. I'm more, I'm more Illinois hoops more than anything. But I obviously pay attention to the football squad. But right. there's nothing really to cheer for. So get to uh, back to baseball in just a second. But yeah, you talked about the Bulls for a second. I mean, last year, there's no way they would have won that game last year with Boyle. I mean, Billy Donovan no, is just no. You're right. You're he's, right. A, he's a professional. He's not. I mean, I, I, Boylan was whatever by by title. But I mean, Billy Donovan, man, he's a pretty darn good coach. He sure is. I mean, his resume speaks for itself in yeah. uh, Florida and obviously in the NBA with OKC. So it's that's an upgrade for the Bulls. And uh, I'm excited to see what uh, Pat Williams turns out to be. So many people, like all my friends were like, oh, he didn't even start at Florida State and all this other stuff. And Florida State sucks. And I'm like, listen, that, does, that doesn't matter. One, that doesn't matter. Two, if there would have been a term last year, Florida State could have been a Final Four team. And you would have mm-hmm. seen so much more of Patrick Williams. Yep. It would have been a big name. And who knows if he would have been available for the Bulls at that point? I, probably I mean, would've. every year, but every knows? year Florida State has like eight guys that potentially could play in the NBA at some point. They're just all long and athletic, and they're always good. So Purdue's played in the last Florida. few years, so I've seen them, and it's just been they're they're not a big name. Obviously, they're they don't. I mean, in the ACC, they don't stick out like Duke and Carolina and, and Virginia. They get mm-hmm. overlooked, and people don't realize that. No, they're very good. The they're fan. very good. No, uh, back to baseball. What uh, have you been keeping up with your teammates? Talking to your teammates? What are they up to? All the time, all the time. That's that's like the one thing you miss, like just hanging out with those guys. I mean, yeah. obviously your teammates with them, but your friends with them after you being with them for so long. You're with them eight months straight a year, so you're with them every day. Um, yeah, we keep in touch all the time. We're always, we're in all group chats and all types of things, just keeping up, keeping tabs on everybody and. We're all looking forward to seeing each other once uh, we get back. So that's exciting yeah, nice. for sure. What uh, What are some goals you got this year? Obviously, I mean, you want to move up in the system as high as you can, but yep, I mean, what, yep. are, what are some I mean, other goals? The, f- the first goal, individual goal for myself, is obviously just to be in the big leagues this year. Yep. Um, at some point, I want to help the big league club and um, contribute at that level and obviously help us win games and – go far and hopefully win a world series. That's obviously the goal, but uh, individually just, just be myself, do what I did the last season I played. Um, don't try to do anything more. That's when you get in trouble and uh, control what you can control. I mean, to be the best version of yourself that you could possibly be. So that's the way uh, I look at it. Pitch wise, you, uh, you, you kind of talked about um, kind of some, not analytics, but kind of more, in-depth stuff on, on your in your breaking pitch uh, on your mm-hmm. breaking ball. What what do you want? Is is there a certain pitch you want to I- improve on more than another? Is there something you're working on more than, than something else, or is it maintenance at this well, point? I felt real. I feel real comfortable with my first breaking ball, the curveball. Um, the I, I would obviously you always want to get better at command the ball and be able to spot it where you want, and you obviously want to have good velocity and all that. But I think adding that hard slider will give hitters a different look, just not to be able to key in in that one breaking ball of the pen. Having those two breaking balls, I think, will really help me, um, not only against lefties, but even against righties, um, just throwing them something harder. So, um, yeah, just, just those three pitches and, and obviously commanding the ball where I want to command it. And when I do that, obviously, I'll have success. So 
Uh, last thing for you, I'll let you uh, let you run. When's the last time you hit a baseball? Hit a baseball? Yeah. Did you Some... hit in high school? Oh yeah, I hit in high school. Um, man, I'm not gonna act like I was like Barry Bonds, <laughs> but I know you know I got a couple of hitting records at the high school. It's not a big deal. Okay. But, um, no, but hey, what, what what are they? Let, let's go back here. Let's hear these. Uh, you know, season season double record, season uh, our career double record, but. My thing, my issue was, you know, all this launch angle stuff going on. Yeah. I kind of wish I knew that because when I <laughs> hit a ball hard, when I really hit a ball hard, it would always be on the line. Yeah. Right. If I could just get the ball in the air, I would hit more homers. But I swung a bat um, a couple times this off season in the summer, just messing around. And uh, obviously, I've gotten a lot stronger since high school, so the ball was jumping, so it was fun. All right. Well, you. Uh... What do you think about playing in the outfield? Do you want to do that too? Oh, if I face big league arms, sheesh, <laughs> it would not be good. I mean, playing catch with, you know, big league guys or just, you know, professional guys, pitchers, and they're letting it go at you. Uh, not trying to hit it, but they're telling me what's coming, trying to hit it and not know what's coming. Not I don't good. know how these not guys good. do it, man. They're pretty incredible. All right, man. Well, uh, thank you so much for doing this. Um, we'll, we'll, We'll uh, we'll keep in touch and we'll uh, no doubt no doubt see what we can get maybe another quick one in before you uh, leave for wherever you're going here in the next well whenever you whenever you do leave but uh, yeah yeah appreciate it man and uh, hopefully the Bears get a win this weekend yeah we need one I appreciate it Clint that'd be fun all right man thank you very much appreciate it have a good one.